Okay, Lady Ada, it is a machine learning Monday. That's right, yeah, filthy bags of mostly water. It's time <laughs> for yeah. Machine Learning Monday. We show off a brief glimpse of what we're working on and we'll be working on. Yeah, this week is a big week. Yes. So on Wednesday at noon Pacific. That's in two days. 3 p.m. Eastern, we have a hack chat with the folks from Google. Yes. So we've got... Um, Pete Warden, Daniel yeah. Sichunake. I'm sorry if I said that wrong, and Meghna Nataraj. So we got that going on. Uh, special thanks to Dan, Sophie, Hackaday. So we're going to do this on Wednesday, noon Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern. Um, this is a cool poster. I'll make that there. Um, it's called Hack Chat. We have all the links. You can find it on our site. You can find it on Hackaday. That's going on. And so we're going to show some demos. And the demo that we're going to show, in addition to the ones that people already saw, was an, is a new one with the BrainCraft That's hat. right. Every week I'm having so much fun. I'm having the most fun. I'm just laughing constantly while trying to get TensorFlow examples working on the Raspberry Pi 4. It's quite a journey. Yeah. Um, I'm learning a little bit every week. So I do a little bit every week so I don't turn into the Joker. Um, and this week, last week we did um, the single object recognition. So whatever is in front of the camera, it's the, the thing that's most likely yeah. the, the one item it takes. It's just, you know, the um, analysis of the whole image. It takes multiple layers. It does four yeah. transforms. In our demo, we have like 10. It's like forklift, uh, yeah, leopard. You, you, you hold know, up yeah. one thing and it's like, what is the, what is the thing in the, that is the most likely item and it, it speaks is. it. So we wanted to have yeah. that for maybe folks that are vision impaired, but we also have the words on the screen and then audio yeah. that says what it is. So and that was like thanks to, yeah. Yeah, that was thanks to Lay's uh, wonderful demo, the RPI Vision demo, which Pete also worked on a little bit. And then this week I want to do uh, another demo. So we, okay. we did, um, last time we had, it would only recognize one object. And it would do that about seven frames per second using TensorFlow Lite. And this week, this is how far I got. So this is the, is, that was MobileNet V2. And this is MobileNet V2 SSD. And so this actually sections off the image into little chunks and then um, boxes. It, it says in, in the box of the image, how many items yeah. and what they are. So it I'm gonna, like up to 10 items. I'm gonna uh, walk over here and you'll notice that as soon as I walk over here, so we have a, a nice camera here that you can see what's really going on. Yes. And then this is the camera that it's seeing and this is yeah. Raspberry Pi 4. This is the Raspberry Pi camera and this okay. is the camera is right here. So it's like, hey, like there's, you know, a couple persons. Yeah. So it's really good at person detection, I've noticed. Yeah. Um, so it knows. And this is not online at yeah, all. This, this is, is on the edge. On the edge, as they say. And one thing, though, if you wanted to, you can have the person recognition not online, but you could do something like, oh, if you see a person, then send me a text message. So you yeah. can make a very, you, you could do things like that. So that's a sports ball. Well, it's an apple, but it thinks it's a sports ball, yeah. I guess. And then it's, and then it's good at the remote. It thinks it's a cell phone sometimes. But what's neat about this is it does yeah, that it boxing of the item. Let's see if we can get it. So yeah, so it, it, I'm still working on resolution and this is all still running TensorFlow, not TensorFlow Lite. And so I have to figure out how yeah. to convert this into a yeah. TensorFlow Lite flat file. Bird. Which is yeah, sometimes it got, it got it really, really fast too. Yeah. It's like a picture of a bird on iPad. Now, how come it's like 99% sure that's a bird, but it's only 80% sure that we're human? I don't know. Well, I agree. Um, yeah. But here's one other thing. More Since we're using a Raspberry Pi 4, um, we wanted to see if we can get to the HDMI signal out. So what you're seeing on, uh, if you're watching this, it'll be the left-hand side of the screen. Yeah, it's that side. Yeah, what, what you're seeing is directly coming off the Raspberry Pi. Yeah, so I'm mirroring the HDMI output. So we got that yeah. going, so this is good for demos. So you can see, because the screen, you know, I can see it, but it's hard to see a video of a video of a screen. Yeah, and then I'll, get a, I'll put the bird. Okay, bird. So this is kind of cool. I think this is pretty useful for when you, you know, you want to have something yeah. No, I mean, there might be multiple items so you can detect it. Um, but it just shows yeah. that we can get that segmented um, type of detection going. Again, it's slow. It's only one and a half frame per second, but that's still fast enough, I think, to do some basic robotics. Yeah. Not good enough for a self-driving car quite yet, because I think that somebody can run in front of you pretty fast. But Yep. I think with TensorFlow Lite, usually you can get about a 70% increase in speed. So maybe I can get up to like two frames a second, which, you know, it'll help. Maybe two, 2.5 would be awesome. Um, and then there might be some other tweaks I can do. 
And this is, of course, no uh, Coral Accelerator, no GPU. This is a pure CPU um, inference, which is, which is pretty impressive that it's completely on the edge, no Wi-Fi, no Coral device, no Movidius device. And yeah. it, can, it can do you know, person counting and detection and basic object tracking. Um, this is just you know, basically the, the demo from the TensorFlow uh, research object detection example. It's very exciting. Okay. And don't forget, this week, Wednesday, noon Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern, we'll be doing Hack Chat at hackaday.io. Yeah, we'll be showing off this. And Talking more. about what we're doing, a lot of edge, TensorFlow, machine learning, very exciting stuff.